What's going on YouTube? Hope everyone's doing all right, man. Enjoying this nice weather we got going on. Uh, it's been about 60s, uh, 60s and 70s during the day. So fall is obviously here. Uh, I got to finish up these Coronas, man. This, this, this ain't a fall time beer, so I got to get through these. But hey, if you got a beer, cheers, man. If you don't have a beer, go grab one. Cheers. You might as well. It's Sunday, man. But hey, uh, like I was saying, I figured I'd give you guys a quick update on what I've been up to as far as this engine. Uh, I did get a couple things done on the car, like uh, headlights and corner lights. Um, these are pretty easy to put on. A uh, couple bolts on the front clip I got on, obviously, so not a big deal. But I got those on. Um, but big one I got knocked out was the headers. Um, so you guys can kind of see them down in here. Uh... These are log man, like kind of like log style headers. Um, so you can see, I think it's inch and a quarter uh, tubing right here, and then I think it's two and a half inch log back down there, and then it goes out to a V band, uh, a V band clamp in the back. Uh, I ordered some like kind of shorty headers, and it just they weren't working. They were hitting too many things. Um, so I was able to get this knocked out. Uh, I did have to cut the headers, uh, the manifolds rather, um, on each tubing on the driver's side, um, because the, the log was sticking too far out from the, from the block. Like it was out here, but I had to bring the log side, the log piece in and that's so I could clear the, uh, the power steering hose. So let me see if I can get y'all down in there. Yeah. All right, so it's a little better, but uh, <clears throat> like I was saying right there is the uh, the power steering line, and then it goes down to the gearbox right there. But you guys can hopefully see the uh, the manifolds and how I had to cut them to get them to fit. Uh, so I'd basically just cut it on every every one, and then bent it closer to the block, and that was pretty much it. Uh, I will go underneath the car in a minute and show you guys, uh, what it looks like on the, on the exhaust side, but, uh, everything fit up. So that's good news. I did order a exhaust manifold bolt kit. So I'm just waiting on that. I just got some temporary bolts in there for now. So that was a driver's side. Um, these, these manifolds are made by Fapo Moto, um, <laughs> on Amazon. Uh, that's the part number right there. F E six, nine, six, one, one, zero. Um, you will have to cut them and um, move them around. Um, like I said, the driver's side, I had to bend the log closer to the block. Um, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do, to do that to get past the steering gearbox. And then these are the uh, passenger side. So you can see I didn't have to cut um, any of the individual uh, tubes right there to get it to clear. So that's kind of like the original shape, really. So just so you guys know. But on the um, passenger side, all I had to really modify was in the back back there. Uh, I basically cut the curve of the V-band off and just welded it like at a 90 degree angle down. Um, and you guys will probably see that when I get back to uh, get underneath the car. Because it was hitting the firewall right there. There's not a whole lot of room. So, But yeah, uh, they do fit, so that's all I really care about, man. I'll be able to weld on my O2 sensor and, uh, you know, hopefully get things running. Um, so that's good news. Uh, other thing I've been up to was I did get my, uh, upper and lower radiator hoses, um, on. So you guys can see this guy. I just got it wrapped up in some sleeving. Um, but it's just a regular AutoZone hose. Uh, the part number from AutoZone was, uh, let's see, E... E72183. So hopefully you guys can see it. Just a regular uh AutoZone upper radiator hose. I did have to cut both ends to make it fit because it was a little too long, so but not a big deal. Uh I'm sorry, that, that E72183 is a lower radiator hose. Um the upper radiator hose part number is uh let's see. Uh 72606. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the, uh, that's the part number. I'm trying to move the sleeving so you guys can see it, but 
Uh, yeah, they're just AutoZone hoses. Like I said, I had to cut them to make them fit a little bit. That's the the lower rad hose. Just put it some put some sleeving around it to keep it clean. Um, so that was pretty straightforward. Uh, I did get my engine oil thermostat in. Um, so this guy is a Mishimoto thermostat. Uh, basically, uh, my oil is going to come up to my oil filter first. Uh, it'll get filtered. It'll come out. Um, it'll go into the thermostat. Uh, if the oil is still cold, uh, this is a 180 degree thermostat. If it gets cold, if the oil is still cold, uh, it'll go down and back out of this tubing back to the motor. But if the uh, oil is hot enough, it'll go from this tube to this tube, which goes to the oil cooler. And then this returns from the oil cooler and then it goes back to the motor. So that's kind of how that guy works in a nutshell. Um, this is my engine oil cooler. Uh, I just got to find a place to mount this guy. Um, I'll probably end up putting it down in there somewhere in that gap. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, other thing I got knocked out was the uh, radiator fan. Uh, I got a 16 inch Maxon fan from Amazon. Just the import special, man. Um, you guys can see it right there. There's a bit of a gap around the shroud. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up. Um, and hopefully it doesn't just pull air in through the gap and push it out. Um, but I got to wire that guy in. My Terminator X already has a, uh, a pin on the harness to do fan control. I think it's set at 190 degrees. So once the temp sensor hits 190, it'll kick it on and it shuts off at 180, I think. Um, or 195, it kicks on, shuts off at 180 maybe. Um, so I'm going to wire that in, do the relay. Um, and then I might put the OE stock fan on the same circuit and just have them both run. I don't know. We'll see. So I got that knocked out. Uh, what else do I got for you guys? Um, I guess we can go underneath the car and take a look at these exhaust, uh, ports and where they come out. Um, let me see here, guys. Uh. All right, so there is one. Yep, so you guys can kind of see it right there. Um, it comes out for me right before the bell housing, really. Uh, but it's a V-band um, manifold with a T-clamp or a T-band clamp, or whatever the hell you call them. Um, but you can see it clears the steering shaft and it clears all of the... Uh, all of the power steering stuff so we're good we're in good pretty good shape there I'm not gonna do anything on this side I'm just gonna take it to the exhaust shop and have them weld it and run run exhaust out the back two and a half inch exhaust out the back but uh yeah that was my solution for this um, so you can go you guys can kind of see the the logs down the, the log how close it is to the block so just to give you guys some insight and then passenger side, uh, that guy is right there. So you guys can kind of see, hopefully, uh, you guys can kind of see how close it was to the uh, firewall. So that's why I cut that 90 and then uh, bent it around. Yep. So hopefully you guys can see that. Kind of dump straight down right there. But yeah, guys, that was my solution. Uh, these guys, these manifolds are actually turbo manifolds. They're on Amazon. You guys can go check them out, but um, they did take a little bit of massaging. And uh, that's kind of expected, man. Anything on this swap is going to need some need some work. Uh, uh. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you right now. I'm going to get the... Uh, engine oil thermostat wire uh, plumbed in and then I'll get the uh, engine oil cooler plumbed in and then I can actually put oil in it and uh, then we can we, we can try and do our first startup um, so I'm pretty stoked about that um, I just have to get a uh, a cap for this coolant reservoir I'm not sure exactly uh, what other guys did with it but I'm thinking about just capping it and uh, I'm talking about this guy right here that uh 
that open port right there. I'm not sure exactly where that went on the OEM BMW. Uh, this guy right here. I'm not really sure where that went, but I might just put a silicone cap over it for right now and just roll with that. Um, and then I'll be able to put, I'm just going to put water in this guy for now and oil, try and build oil pressure and then start it up and, uh, see what it wants to do. Um, so hopefully I can do that in the next week. Um, I just got to get a cap. And then, um, I ordered some, um, AN 10 fittings for my thermostat so I can finish up plumbing. Uh, and then that'll be all done and then I'll fill it with oil. Um, I got some um, zinc additive and I got some conventional oil, just some cheap stuff that I can um, hopefully cycle through everything, um, shut it off, drain it, probably do it one more time and then drain it again. And then I'll try and put like a hundred miles on it and then drain it again um, since it is fresh. But uh, I did drop my drive shaft off at a shop. Um, so I brought him that 31 slip, uh, 31 spline slip yoke for the T56 and uh they're kind of working on that guy right now. So it's coming along, man. Um, I'm hoping I can get it started up in the next week or so um, after I get all my plumbing done and just see uh, what it wants to do. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, but hey, I, I noticed my subscriber count has gone up and uh just want to say I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um, I just do this for fun. I just like, you know, feel like sharing my experience doing the swap and, uh, you know, maybe guys out there who are thinking about it or curious about it or had questions about what to do and, and what parts to use and, you know, things like that, you know, hopefully this, this will help you along in that path. So that was kind of my intent. Um, but just want to say, appreciate everyone for showing up. Um, and yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Um, if y'all got any suggestions, let me know. Be happy to listen to them. Um, but otherwise, guys, hey, uh, happy uh, happy end of summer, and uh, we'll keep chugging along.